Hey guys, it's Melanie as promised. Today I am sharing my holiday home decor tour. I will try to keep this as brief as possible. I am just showing you guys the downstairs of the house. I don't typically film in the upstairs and I didn't really decorate upstairs either. Um, so we're gonna keep it down here on the main level of the house. I will try my best not to talk too much or try to explain where everything is from. I have obviously done a couple of home decor hauls this year and then um, most of you are not new to my channel so you've seen those home decor uh, hauls last year as well. I will link last year's video down below so if you're interested to like kind of compare to see how things have been switched up this year um, I'll be sure to link that video and um, Penny is probably going to be joining me so there she is. She is glued to mama's butt, so <laughs> hopefully I don't step on her while I take you guys through. So we're going to start here in our front living room. This house was built in 2002, so you do get, <laughs> in a lot of these homes built in this time period, you do get two living rooms. So this is what I call my fancy lady living room. We do open Christmas presents in here, so this is kind of the main like Christmas area on Christmas morning. Um, I absolutely love this room. I love the big fireplace that is in here. It's super, it's obviously very tall. Um, it's just very grand and stately. It was one of the things that I loved the most about this house when we first walked in here. And I, when we first started kind of thinking about making an offer here, like this was, it was kind of my dream to make this like my fancy lady Christmas room every year. And here it is, reality. So <laughs> um, basically, I just have a lot of red and gold in here. So there are a lot of like gold resin trees. I am a candle lady, so I do have several candles out. Vanilla balsam is my jam in here, as is Nest Holiday. Um, that is also a Nest Holiday votive right there. I do have my Scentsy Christmas Glow Warmer. There's another one over there. I would like to get some more throw pillows for this couch here, but I haven't found the perfect ones. So until I find them, I will just have these two for the holiday season. Um, obviously here is the tree. This tree is not a pre-lit one. I do add lights to this. I bought this tree at Costco several years ago, like bef well before Stella. Um, and I really liked it because it didn't have lights on it. So that meant that I could switch the lights out from clear to colored lights to what I currently have, which is a mix of red and clear, which is kind of fun. Um, obviously a ton of ornaments on this tree. Ornaments that I've collected over the years. Um, there are some expensive ornaments on here and there are also some very inexpensive ornaments on here. Like these, for example, I think these were $6.99 for a box of like, I don't know, what is there, like six or eight uh, at Michael's. So <laughs> um, this, this is also kind of an inexpensive ornament from Michael's as well. And then I've got some expensive Jason Wu ornaments on here. So I love this tree. I like very traditional colors when it comes to Christmas and red and gold have always been my jam. On the mantle here, I do have a garland. It's actually two garlands that I wound together and then I put fairy lights in there and obviously have attached a lot of fun ornaments in red and burgundy and um, gold, lots of glitter. I love glitter. <laughs> I have Stella's, all of her Santa pictures from all the years that she has gone to see Santa. So she started way back here in 2012 as just a little nugget. And then I think this one and this one are my personal favorites. This one cracks me up. She's like, who is this dude? <laughs> um, but yeah, so I have those up on the mantle here and everybody loves looking at these when they come over for holiday parties and stuff because they're just hysterical to see like the progression to where she's just like super excited about Santa. So but yeah so love this mantle love this room it's definitely my favorite i do have just a few things over here on my shelf um mostly just some green votive holders um these are the fractal ones they're super pretty when they're lit up 
I have another little resin tree up there. In the entryway, I just have a sleigh. I was gonna say sleigh, that's a sled. I have a sled over here. And on this side of the door, I have two trees that do have fairy lights wrapped around them. So those will turn on actually in about an hour here. And then another little sleigh. All of this stuff here came from Home Goods over the years. I love Home Goods. Let's go in my dining room. I do have this little side table over here that I decorated this year with some trees that I found at um, Nordstrom Rack last year. And then there is my beloved nest spiced orange and clove candle as well as a uh, vanilla bean macaron from Homeworks. <laughs> And then this is new to my collection this year. I really like how it looks right here. And when I have this candle lit, it just lights it up at night. It's super, super pretty. Um, that mirror is available at Michael's this year. So if you're interested in it, that's where you can find it. I have another Scentsy Glow Warmer over here. This tree, this acrylic tree does light up. And then in all of my windows on the front of the house, I do have these LED candles that are super, super pretty at night. Um, we are kind of up on a hill here, so everybody down on the hill can see the lights in the windows, and when you pull up at night, it's just super, super pretty. Over here on the buffet, I don't serve food on here during the holidays, so um, I have a runner that actually has LED lights strong on the inside of it. There is a little battery pack. You can kind of see it sticking up over here, so, um, I turn that on at night and it just like there's little beads of light that glow on here and obviously it's, it's kind of simple I did hang up some of those snowball ornaments and covered up my peony picture with a really nice holiday wreath and then over here my chandelier I did this last year as well I liked how it turned out so I decided to repeat it I just hung the little snowball ornaments and put up this really nice heavy acrylic snowflake that Stella bought me for Christmas one year when she went to Leavenworth with my mom. The dough bowl is filled with lots of different types of holiday greens and glitter sprigs and pine cones and glittery ornaments. I really like how this turned out this year. And then I do also have two of my nest holiday candles. I'm actually gonna light those up tonight because we are having friends over for, um, for dinner tonight, so. I'm gonna light those up. Here in the butler's pantry, I do have just a small white tree, a little have yourself a merry little Christmas sign, um, and then another Scentsy Christmas Glow Warmer because I obviously love this one. We keep all of our barware in here, all of the liquor is in here, and we will usually serve drinks here when we have people over. I do have just a couple things in the laundry room this year. I did put up this little mail receptacle from my deco created box. So this is where we're gonna be putting our holiday cards as well as birthday invitations throughout the year. And then this is from the deco created winter box last year, this little let it snow um, vignette. I decided to put it in the laundry room. I thought it was perfectly suited for in here. So actually we have a birthday party that we're going to tomorrow. I am obviously pre-recording this before we leave for our trip. So um, in here is the kitchen. So this is my big, beautiful island. I love the island. I think you will have seen how I decorated this tray in yesterday's video, if I have this all figured out in my head properly. So refer to that video for more in-depth information for that but I do just have like a few fun things on this tray. What I like about putting everything on a tray is that when we have guests over and we need this whole area for food, I can very easily pick up this whole thing and put it in the laundry room and get it out of the way, which is really nice. Ooh, Stella's gonna be home from school soon. <laughs> Gotta wrap this up. Okay, over here's just a couple of holiday inspired things. This is where I am keeping my this is the Yankee centerpiece, that's what it's called. So I need to actually put a new cup in there, a new melt cup, so I think I'm gonna do cranberry chutney next. Um, over here I have another Scentsy warmer. This was from a couple years ago, and then this fun little cedar tree that I picked up at Hobby Lobby this year. And then here is my 
coffee station. So as you can see, this is from the Deco Created box. I've got my coffee, my tea, a little Christmas sign. That's the champagne for tonight. I actually need to put that in the fridge. This chandelier in here is um, the same one that I actually have in the dining room, but this is the oil rubbed bronze version. And I just hung the acrylic snowflakes that I picked up at Hobby Lobby this year on here. Really like the way that turned out. This is our family room. As you can see, the LED birch logs that I had in my fall home decor tour are now in here because I think they're just better suited for in front of this fireplace for the holidays. And there's Mr. Kong. Hi. He's so cute. <laughs> this is where a TV went back in the early 2000s, but um, they no longer fit into this shape because they are this shape now. So I'm going to be turning this into a bar. I think uh, that's going to be my project this next coming year. But for this year, I just uh, put gift wrap around the picture that normally sits here to cover up the big hole where the TV used to kind of sit back. Um, then I have my little reindeer family and some more really pretty glass trees and some fairy lights. Stella's stocking. <laughs> here is the mantle in this living room. Um, this is the same garland that I have on the mantle in the front living room, except this one is not doubled up. So this is what it looks like when it's just by itself. And again, I have that snowflake and um, gold sparkle theme going on here. These are not Luminara candles. They are actually the candles from Costco, which are available every single year. That Merry Christmas sign is from Hobby Lobby. And I love, these are available again at Pier 1. I will link them down below. They are gorgeous and I absolutely love them and they are worth every penny. <laughs> this tree used to be in our entryway last year, but it's better suited to this space over here. Um, I love it. I got this at Home Depot last year. And again, I'm going with that snowball white and gold theme. There are lots of picks in this particular tree because it's nice and full. So it's easy to stick picks in here. It sort of helps to add more texture. Um, the tree in the entryway that you saw on Monday and that you'll see here again in a minute is not quite as full as this style of tree. So the picks don't really make sense in there, but they look great in this tree. And then over here, I am currently burning nest birchwood pine, which is also gorgeous. And then I have more of those um, fake Luminara candles in here. They're fantastic for spaces like this because you obviously would not want to burn a real candle in a bookcase, but these are nice because they're fake. <laughs> so um, yeah, I just have lots of little reindeers and little gold Christmas trees and pine cones and baubles and whatnot. I just tried to make this area look festive. So um, yeah, I love having all these pictures of Stella in here. She's such a cute little girl. I'm obviously a little bit biased because she's mine, but I just want to eat her up. She's so cute. She's the super cutest. And this is my Oma and Opa, by the way, on their wedding day. How beautiful are they? I miss them very, very much. And that was actually my Oma's rosary right there. So that's very special to me. Um, so there we go. That is, I didn't really do Christmas pillows in here. Just kept it kind of simple. And then the entryway. <laughs> so we kind of just made a full circle. This is my office and um, I don't typically decorate it for the holidays. So nothing special in there. Here is the beautiful tree that I showed you guys in depth on Monday. If you missed that video, again, I'll put it in the description box. So love how this one turned out. Look at how pretty this is. Ugh, I love it. <laughs> I actually can't decide whether I like this tree better or that one. I don't know, which one do you like better? <laughs> and then on my entryway table, I did just attach a nice wintry wreath to the um, mirror here. These birch LED candles were from Pier 1 last year. The trees were actually from my local Fred Meyer. Um, and then I have a three wick of my beloved nest spiced orange and clove 
in the entryway and it fills this whole area here perfectly. It just floats up and smells up the whole house. So we don't use this to drop mail or keys or anything. We come in through the garage. So um, I have a place to drop our keys and all that kind of stuff out there. So this is just an area for me to play with home decor stuff basically and to store candles <laughs> down here. So. Um, I have a lot of the holiday candles that I'm planning on burning over the next few weeks um, on the shelves in there. So anyway, that is it. That is the home decor tour for 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm trying to think, did I miss any areas? I don't think so. Oh, I did decorate my little manzanita branches over here. I just added a few hanging crystals and then... Um, these are actually glass balls, so I have to be careful with these. I did already drop one, which made a huge mess. And then there's just a little Merry Christmas sign. I did put up just a couple trees in the bathroom. Um, this is our downstairs guest bath. So I've had these for a few years from, they were from Michael's, I think. There's another one over here. We cannot put our toilet paper on the toilet paper holder because Penny takes it down because she's the worst. <laughs> She is not the worst. By the way, later on in December, I will show you guys how I decorate this mantle out here um, on our covered patio. We're having a really fun Christmas party on December 7th. So I will record decorating that to show you guys how you can do it. If you have, um, it's you. it actually will work for a mantle inside as well, but the greens might dry out and you might have to redo it halfway through December. But since this is outside, um, it'll actually last until well into January. So, but there's not a whole lot else that I'm gonna do out here. Um, I think we're gonna bring in some of those umbrella heaters for our party that we're having. And then I'm gonna be doing a bunch of like floating candles and um, fun stuff like that. So, but I will show you guys this area decorated in December at some point. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed the tour this year. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you tomorrow for some more pre-recorded videos if you are interested in them. If not, I hope you have a fantastic Thanksgiving and I will see you in the next one. Take care.